Hello, this is a demonstration of remote control pneumatics using the powered up system. In this fairly standard test setup we have three pneumatic circuits. We have these two pneumatics here, controlled by these two valves, and that's just, you know, standard stuff. And then we have, just as a test, we have a fairly large weight being played by the Batmobile. And that's to basically simulate a, a large heavy crane boom or excavator arm or something like that. And it's just there for demonstration. This is the control scheme that we'll be using. We have an up and down control that controls this one going up and down here. And we have a multi-directional control that's controlling these two cylinders here. Whenever any of these controls aren't in the zero position, the compressor will run automatically. And it's as simple as that. So, let's see how this runs. So as you can see, it's fairly nice and easy to control. And we have the multi-directional controls. So yeah, it works rather well. This is just a quick look at the compressor in case you want to have a go at building it yourself. It's fairly simple. It's a twin crank 8 piston design. Just with a little meter on the top. Um, they are, it's a bit hard to see, but they are, the two cranks are offset by 90 degrees so they never collide with each other. And this works very well. This is the one I use for most pneumatic things. And the, uh, if I move this over here. The valve design is also very simple. It's basically just, I'll work it against the mount here, but uh, if I can just, You can basically see that work in there. If I do the multi directional ones. And it works fairly well and re fairly well and reliably. And this is a quick look at the code. We have the three servo controllers here. This one is part of the multi-directional switch, that's the left or right one. That's the multi-directional one for the up and down one. I've got these 0.7 multipliers here and that's basically to stop the motor reaching its um, end travel and straining everything. And I find that just makes things work a lot better. This one is the up and down control that you saw raising and lowering the Batmobile. Uh, we have a 0.4 multiplier here and a plus 10 there. And you can mess around with these figures but basically this is just making it so the lever doesn't move very far either side and then this plus 10 is just biasing it towards one side and that's how we get in the steady you know so it does so you know when you flip the lever it doesn't just go junk and drop down too quickly it's by fiddling with these numbers you you know you could tune it there's a lot more fine tuning i could do with this but 
this is how we get in a nice smooth control movement up and down. This area is controlling the automatic compressor. Whoops, so I've just kicked the camera, sorry about that. Basically, if the multi-directional left and right is not equal to zero, or there is a little or symbol there, it's hard to see. If the multi-directional up and down does not equal zero, there's another or there. If the slider, vertical slider, is not equal to zero. So basically if any of those controls do not equal to zero, there's a little tick there. Then we run motor D at speed 100. If the opposite is true, there's a little cross symbol there, then motor D runs at zero. So that is how we're turning on and off the compressor automatically. And this is just, that's just the speed dial. We're taking the speed measurement from motor D, and we are putting it onto speed dial number two. If we go to the controls, a lot of times there is a little bug where uh, no matter what I, you know, try to design, sometimes uh, they don't really, you know, the servos and things don't really work correctly. So basically, all I do, you see this little lock button, I unlock it and then lock it again. And now they all seem to work correctly for whatever reason. I don't really know. But yeah, that is the... the that's my little demonstration of RC pneumatics using the powered up system. Thanks for watching.